In this video, I'm going to show you three super effective but remarkably simple ways to quickly improve your balance. Let's get into this. Strategy number one is to feed your feet. And what do feet like to eat? Lots and lots of sensory stimulation. When the primary goal is to improve your balance and reduce the risk of falling, one of the best places that you can start is by providing lots and lots of sensory stimulation to the bottoms of your feet. And there's been quite a lot of research that has been done into this subject in countries like Korea and Japan, and much of it has produced really impressive results, like this study that was published in the Journal of Clinical Rehabilitation. These researchers recruited 46 people aged 75 plus from assisted living communities, and they randomly split them up into two groups. Group one was the control group, they did nothing. Group two was the training group, and they received 10 sessions of sensory training focusing on stimulating the bottoms of the feet. And what this consisted of was standing on different densities of foam for short periods of time and then reporting what density they thought they were standing on. So think low, medium, and high. They'd stand on it for a little while and then they'd say what level they thought they were standing on. And after just 10 sessions, they detected significant improvements in the amount of standing sway. So they would have these people stand and they would measure how far they swayed in a standing position with eyes open and usually with eyes closed as well. And the people who had done the training uh, with standing on the foam were way more stable with static balance. But the coolest thing was the improvement in the functional reach test where somebody stands up against a wall and they reach out as far as they can in front of them without losing their balance and actually falling forward. And what they found was that the training group that had been standing on those different densities of foam had a 535% improvement in their functional reach test. So how does this information translate into everyday life? Well, of course, you could go out and get a few different densities of foam and little cutouts and place them on the living room floor and spend some time standing on them every single day. But what I take away from this research is that everyone can benefit from increased volume, increased variety, and increased awareness of the sensory information that's coming in through the bottoms of our feet. So what does that mean? Well, in terms of volume, it means that if you're struggling with your balance and you're not currently spending some time barefoot every single day, that that's something that you should consider doing. And if you do spend a little bit of time barefoot and you're still struggling with your balance, you should consider increasing that time. A good goal to aim for is somewhere between 15 and 30 minutes. What does variety mean? It means that you should be standing on and moving across lots of different kinds of surfaces. So think sand, dirt, gravel, grass, cement, pebbles, all of these different things provide different levels of support and stability and different sensations as you're moving across them. And what does awareness mean? It means that you should be paying attention to the feeling in your feet while you're moving across those different surfaces. Strategy number two is to make sure you've got a wide base of support. Picture a skyscraper and then picture a pyramid. Imagine that both of these structures are exactly the same height. Which of the two is more stable? Well, obviously the pyramid, right? And why is that? Well, there are multiple reasons, but a lot of it comes down to the ultra wide base of support. Now, this is an extreme example, but to a certain extent, the same concept can be applied to our feet. So if you've got a history of wearing more traditional shoes or any footwear that constricts, binds, and prevents the feet from assuming their normal shape, well then getting yourself a pair of these inexpensive toe separators and combining them with your daily barefoot routine can be really helpful for restoring the normal structure to your feet and creating a more stable base of support. And to get even more benefits, you could take it a step further by making the switch to barefoot minimalist style shoes. This 2020 article published in the journal Nature showed that this type of footwear was effective for improving balance, increasing stability, and improving mobility in people with a history of falls. Up until now, our focus has been entirely on the feet, but maintaining balance is an ongoing process that involves the entire body from head to toe. And so in strategy number three, we're going to focus on increasing stability from the top down. There's an old saying that where the head goes, the body follows. And there's a lot of truth in those words, both figuratively and literally. In fact, the position of your head may be the single greatest determinant of the position of your body. 
And to illustrate that point, all you would need to do is observe athletes who are competing in sports like diving or gymnastics or figure skating and watch what they do with their heads prior to initiating any significant change in direction. So for example, with figure skaters, one of the things that you'll see when they're initiating a spin is the head will whip around in the direction that they're going to be spinning. The head goes first and the body follows. And in the exact same way, the position of your head has a major influence on your balance and stability. And this can be a really big problem for anybody whose head position has deviated away from normal, like the roughly 70% of our population that has a forward head position. And this systematic review that was published in 2022 in the Journal of Gait and Posture perfectly explains why that is. These researchers looked at 19 different studies to examine the relationship between forward head position, balance, stability, and gait. And what they found after pouring over all of this data was that consistent evidence supports that people with forward head position have significant reductions in both static and dynamic balance, as well as cervical proprioception, which is being able to accurately determine where your head and neck are located in space, kind of a big deal when you're trying to stay balanced and not fall over, as well as their dynamic stability, which is how far they could move their body away from the center of gravity without falling over. So there's just no question that anyone who's looking to improve their balance, who also has a forward head position, should be actively taking steps on a daily basis to restore the normal position of the head and neck. And the most effective way to do that is using an active traction unit. This simple device has demonstrated the ability in multiple studies to put as much as five to 10 degrees more curve in the cervical spine following a single five minute session. One study found that walking with a device like this on a treadmill at a slow pace for just five minutes could reduce forward head position by over three quarters of an inch. The active traction unit works by placing a concentrated load here at the center of the forehead, just above the brow line. The effect that that load has on the body is to gently and slowly pull the head forward and down. Now, as your brain and body perceive that this extra weight is there and it's pulling your head forward and down, what's gonna happen is it's gonna start ramping up activation in all of the muscles of your postural uprighting system to help overcome that extra weight and reverse that forward pull. So it's gonna create an equal pull in the opposite direction. It's gonna pull you up and back. That's why a lot of people find that they're taller while they're wearing their active traction unit, because your brain is seeking the optimal position to resist the downward pull of gravity. But with this extra weight here, it now has to accommodate for that. And so it pulls you slightly further back to overcome that additional weight. And the genius of this is that with consistent effort over time, these changes actually become permanent. So whether you choose to go with increasing sensory input into your feet, creating a wider base of support, or optimizing the position of your head and neck, each of these three strategies has the power to dramatically improve your balance and reduce your risk of falling. And the beautiful thing about these strategies is that as you become more comfortable with them, they layer in on top of one another really, really well. So it's not that hard to use all three of them at the exact same time. If you want to find out more about the active traction unit, click the link in the upper right hand corner of your screen. And if you're interested in the toe separators or barefoot minimalist style shoes that I recommend, check the links in the description down below. Beyond that, I just want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button before you head out of here and I'll see you next time.